Next turn, turn 22. One of those shipyards got built. We didn't actually queue anything up last turn, so just the last ship that was in the queue got built. And one of those armies we built uh, got done. Still check the communications. Uh, we'll send you to the front as well. Whip. I didn't actually click in time. Selected the next ship before finishing that order. Uh, it's now those four and it's new supply daddy. How about you uh, do it like this? Uh, you are going to be anti ship 40. It's a little bit annoying that you always have to do the uh, strategies. And you're going to be run away. Uh, but since you don't have any guns, you should do that on your own, really. I'm not sure if the runaway, if you're in a fleet, will have them uh, enter a different sector. I think they used to do that in vanilla. I think it changed something in Plonsmoth that made them not do it anymore. Or at least I haven't observed that behavior recently. Um, <laughs> so if that scout comes through now, uh, he's going to see quite a few ships. I don't actually want him to see quite a few ships. I'm just going to leave them next to him. I think if he checks the movement log he can see briefly that there's ships next to this because his sensor range will still be intact for a moment. Um. Uh, this is scout ship. So how about we retreat the more advanced ships that have four moves on tile as well. They should definitely move before that scout moves in since it twice as fast. And yeah, you move one tile here, then you move one tile there, and then you uh, warp. And then you end your turn on the other side. And that way they shouldn't be encountering the scout ship. And these three ships can just be here. And this is one of the attackers. And these are two uh, scout ships as well. Hmm. They're cloaked, so I'm not entirely sure if they will even participate in combat. But we want these to be in here anyway. Mm. Do we want you here? Yeah, we did, right? Because this one is newer. Yeah, they had the sails, but there wasn't anything else new about these scouts. Okay. You don't see anything because you're blind. Nothing jumped into you. It was you that expanded your five shots, no? No, it was you. No. None of these, was it? Oh. Which ship was it last turn that fired those five shots? It was you. Oh, it was on the other side. Yes, yes, yes. Um, which means that this guy is not seeing anybody. So you just warp for now. Which means that this uh, is relatively unprotected. I don't like that. Uh, unfortunately, the fighters, if I launch them, they can't just walk over there to that walk point. Uh, they don't have any supply. They are un unfortunately uh, restricted to sector defense. So, I'm gonna have to count on these two warships to defend our ass here. But one of you stops in this sector and guards that war point. Until that scout crosses this sector, uh, he's definitely going to be there. Then he's going to see that I have antimatter reactors when he encounters this one, whatever, whatever. If he really wants to know, he might get that information anyway if he studies the technology report. Talking about studying the technology report, he has got an armor too. At least it wasn't there before. The estimate amounts still look the same. The estimate still does not show me any re uh, any research, which is a little bit strange. But I'm um, guessing that is something that is possible with the report variants. So what do we do with you? The monsters invasion fleet shall move here, then it shall move there, and then it shall move there. Uh, wait, three, three. Or would you just move there? 
And afterwards we can jump this guy in and decide if we're gonna move the man. If he has anything guarding that wall point yet. You are going to continue. You just had your sentry order removed because there was a hostile system. And otherwise the colonies are all still busy. You are going to want something to do soon, but with 40 facilities lines, you also want a second light shipyard. We hope building all these light shipyards is the right decision. In 15 turns for this heavy shipyard. What's our money look like? Mm, a bit down a little bit. But I hope that we can eventually start building mining facilities or cities rather on these other walls. Should definitely lo be long enough uh, so that our money doesn't run out yet. Uh, next turn we're gonna be finishing the next level of orbital industry. Twenty percent spending, and then we are going to start building the corvette. So let's build just a few more of these regular warships, uh, the ones with the artillery mounts and the level five mass drivers, and then we can see about carriers and gunships or corvettes or whatever they're called. Uh, where are we going to spend our money? We were going to get quantum physics 2 and sensors. Mm, sensors didn't have anything. No, sensors did actually have an immediate uh, benefit associated with them. So let's just get them first. Even if they're the most, more expensive tech home. Um. No, actually, let's do it the other way around. If we research this technology first, then other technologies that unlock something else are also going to have that listed in their uh, list now. Nox additional items in orbital industry, macrobiology, macrobiology is the starting one here. Genetic manipulation, which might be a different level from this one, higher level. Power, miniguns, lasers, torpedoes, bombs, armor, shield sensors and stuff. We have torpedoes, which might be interesting, though we already saw a second level of torpedoes, a fusion torpedo or something. And armor, shields, yeah, armor might be nice. Lasers, so lasers might also be nice. Fusion torpedoes. I think we want uh, to get those fusion torpedoes also pretty soon. Because torpedoes seem like they are a good way to kill capital ships. And they're probably what we want on... Uh, yes, if they are what we want on the gunships, let's just invest into that first. Can't want to on that either, I'm afraid. Oh well. So, a few more of our polynomial consumption warships. Three of them. And that's it for this turn.